Hey, what's going on, people? This is Smitty Smith. This is Vibe. Welcome to the ENA Podcast. Welcome back from a long hiatus. Yeah, a well-needed hiatus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody needed. Everybody needed. Um, As you can see, some of us still look the same. The hell does that mean? <laughs> What does that mean, yo? I'm saying, yo, yo, you keep coming with these fucking shots, man. You're a piece of shit. Well, uh, not to start off on a on a bad topic, but I definitely want to touch base on a bill that they're trying to pass in Georgia. Did you hear about it? They're trying to pass a bill that makes it illegal for women to receive abortions. So there's people out there that's, that doesn't want females to abort their babies? Yes, they are very uh, pro-life, rather pro-choice, which I find it odd because the people who are mostly passing these bills are men who Who's don't that? have to worry about getting pregnant. Yeah, and you know what, and I, I, on top of that, I say the majority of people are, they put their, they put their religious belief inside of it also. Like, oh, we're Catholic, so we don't do this. Or we're Muslim, so we don't do this. But so. we're supposed to separate church and state. Shit, on the, on the back of our dollar bills. It's just saying, God, we trust. I look at it every time I pay. Pay what? Child support? Yeah, so that's crazy, man, about the abortions, man. That's, <laughs> that's retarded, yo. Yes, now, sir. me personally, I feel like, yo, all right, so what if a chick gets raped? Then what? And that's one of those... Um, stipulations that people are always using to try and keep the abortion right alive and you know even then they feel like you shouldn't do it i mean not to sound like an asshole but all right if a, if a, if a, if a person gets raped or if a person just wanted to abort a baby anything like that that should be they given right as a as a woman first of all men should have no say so in that at all you can't say that because wow. it's your baby too, is it not? Nah. Any any time I feel like any time I if I was to get a chick pregnant right now, right now, <laughs> I would have probably like I say probably like twenty five percent say so, ten percent say so. Because at the end of the day, yes, I impregnated her. Yes, I am the father, but she has to carry this baby for nine months. Okay. She's going through an ordeal for nine months. Okay. So she she has she, ha, she that that's basically her option and plus it's her body. You know, I just feel like having an abortion is a personal thing for the man and the woman. However, I feel like the choice should still be to the people, to the person. Yeah. I don't feel like the government should have a say so on that. Now, what, regardless of your spiritual belief, you can have that but it's still that person's right to do what they want with their body. And then it goes hand in hand where I actually spoke to someone about this and it's like, why is it that if someone is on, um, on life support, so to speak, but they're able to, not life support, but you know, basically they wanna die. Yeah. They, they're, tr they're saying, look, I don't wanna live like this, I want you to kill me. And we can't do that because it's against the law. No, nah, but but but, it but if have, that's their choice. They do have something where um, I saw some TV show. <laughs> they do have a, something where a person can, can suggest that if their heart do fails, that they don't want nobody to operate on them. It's a DNR. Do not resuscitate. All right, well there you go. I'm, yeah, I'm, but I'm, I'm talking about, about okay, fine. Do not resuscitate, but now you. I'm saying you don't know when your heart is going to collapse and you're going to need CPR. Oh, so saying like I'm that. saying like, look, I had enough. I'm ready to go. Can oh, so you like, give like, me some drugs or something that'll terminate this? So a person that's that's a uh, let's just say like a person that's going through uh, got got some got an illness. Yeah, got an and illness. And they go through uh -huh. and there's pain and, and morphine's on. Or they're paralyzed from the neck down. Yeah, something and they just they just, wanna, just, uh, they they just, just don't want to be here no more. You can't yeah. you can't administer anything to help them end their life. Yeah, well, she had to Dr. the <laughs> <laughs> Look him up. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, young cats watching this. Look, look, look him up, man. Dr. Kevorkian. God damn it, yo. Well, um, okay, well, speaking of death, <laughs> it's unfortunate. Rest in peace to John Singleton. How do you just ease into that with Dr. Kevorkian and John um, Singleton? Because we're talking about death. I say you don't, All since right. we're. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just, 
<laughs> it's funny how you just rolled into that, yo. <laughs> well, since we're talking about death, let's just roll in uh, John Singleton. <laughs> Nipsey Hussle. And Nipsey Hussle. Rest and, in peace to both. But uh, since you brought up John Singleton, um, I asked a few people, um, various people, work, home, school, not my school. But that's that's the real. I hope not high school. And um, no, I'm not R. Kelly. Right? <laughs> I'm not fucking. You no, know, I'm not sitting down in the jeep <laughs> stalking young girls. Nah, I'm not. No, no. Okay. But um, John Singleton, he came out in the what late eighties. Boys, okay. oh no, Boys in the Hood was like his first movie, right? Mm-hmm. That was in the nineties. Right, I know so, he came out in the nineties. So I know in the nineties he had a lot of good movies, and it was majority black movies. And between him and Spike Lee, they went to school together, by the way. Oh, they did? Yeah, both of them. Little uh, Snapple fact. Get the fuck out of here. I did not know that, yo. Well, you know he was the youngest um, director to be nominated for an Oscar, right? Okay. For what movie? Boys, Boys in the Hood. Hood, right? Yes, I remember. Yo, that's, that's what's up, man. So, yeah, yeah, but black movies, period, are so scarce right now. And it's like the only time you can get a real uh, black movie now is in a comedy form. But I will say that The Intruder. Did you see The Intruder? No. That's a good movie. That's with um, Megan Good and I forgot the dude's name. Uh, every, every woman loves him. He was in Being Mary Jane, the one that she ended up marrying. I don't know exactly what you're talking about. You gotta look his name up? Oh, shit. What? I didn't know this. Hey, right, hold on. All right, so what's about movies? Right, I had to look. Up, I had to look up both of the movies, and the majority of them I saw: Shaft, Baby Boy, hmm, uh, Rose, fast, Rosewood. Really, that was like one of the. I hated that movie. I hated, <laughs> I hated that movie so much. I'm glad they put Tyrese in the franchise, but I hated yes. that movie so much. Him and Ludacris because yeah. of that movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, you know, I, we I just don't. We only know that, yes. and that's it. We move on from yeah. that movie. Rosewood. If y'all didn't see Rosewood, please. Take a chance, look at it. You will be angry. You will be angry and increasing about this movie that is based on a true story. Yeah. Which is scary. You know, and all of it came from a lie. They just basically. A white lie. Yeah. Yes, it was a white lie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Pun intended. It's a white lie. Another movie he, another movie he did was Four Brothers. Probably like one of my favorite movies. That really is a good movie, yeah. That was that's a real good movie. I forgot he did that. I, yo, me too. I know abduction was corny. No, it wasn't. Uh, you you like abduction? Yeah. Well, I like. Yeah, uh, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. All right, all right. All right. <laughs> well, don't forget poetic justice. Oh yeah, I. Mm, uh, that's because you're not into poetry. I mean, there's some freaking slogans and stuff that I have to break down to you, so that's probably why you didn't like it. Go ahead, um, what else? Anyway. Quotes. I... <laughs> <laughs> anyway, John Singleton played a big impact on the black, um, black community, especially um, movies and cinema. He, uh, he directed Michael Jackson's Room of the Time. Yes, which to show what Egyptians look like. Supposed to look like. Yes. Yeah, not that fucking, not, not white people and Come on, yo. Egyptians stay in Africa. It's hot, too. It's hot. It's yeah, hot. it's hot, yo. They, 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 ain't, no, ain't no suntan lotion. They be burnt. <laughs> hey, they gotta be black. Well, Michael Jackson wasn't that black in the film either, man, but... We're not gonna go there. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. All right. Well, as like I was trying to say before, with black movies, back then we can talk about all the movies from the 90s best man and menace to society and poetic justice the wood you know it's a whole lot but like right now i would love for every month a good black movie to come out that that's not going to be in those small theaters or at least if they are in the small theaters we can know about it like the intruder like i was trying to say that movie was actually that's not a big blockbuster movie yeah that was like that's actually an indie film mm. but it managed to get into the big theaters so that's why a lot of people know about it and stuff like that. But it was really good. You know, I noticed around around August when the the, the blockbuster is over and it starts slowing down. From the end of August to the end of September, they always come out with one black movie that's like a thriller. And they came out with that movie with Taraji B. Henson and it was Alba. 
It came out with that. It came out with Acrimony. It came out with um, the the good guy. Something. Or, 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 no good deed. No. Yeah. No. 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 Not no good deed. Because that was with her too. It was the good guy that that played. Um, who was in that? Damn. It Sanan Lathan. It was Sanan Lathan. Um, more chestnut and yes, and the same guy who I can't remember. Yeah, the fucking crazy shit, crazy dude. Yeah, yeah that was yeah. good. But my problem is, even when they do come out with good movies, I mean, god damn it, we have we have heard and seen every story about white people. Yeah, that you can think of. Can we come out with something now? Can we have the same stories but you know twist it up or? with a different ending so we can have our own like so they actually have black streaming services they have urban movie channel umc even though yeah urban movie channel umc black on purpose television network bop <laughs> sorry <laughs> x on demand is the black streaming service we've been waiting for culture hub so like look that up these are we should be supporting our own. Like, that's all I'm saying. We should support our own, if not more than we support other people. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. Just let's support. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's not, we're not, we're not saying go the route like, you know, I'm black. Hey, right? you know, you know, cause white man, the, 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 the white man is in the I'm not saying all that. If it's, if it's a black owned company, something like that, support it. You know, there's nothing wrong with supporting your own people. Everybody else does it. We even mm -hmm. support other people. People that own nail salons, they're not black. Well, let's be honest. How many times have you gone into a store and they had to check your bag? Or you go into a store and they walk in behind you and find, do you need help? No, God damn it! I know what I want, I know what I'm doing. Go ahead, man. But they're still there, they're lurking. They're lurking. What you doing? What you touching? All of that shit. But you still go in there and you still buy it. Most people, not saying all, oh, but some people still will go in there. So you're supporting that. All I'm saying is if you can support that, support your own, even if they have an attitude. Just tell them about themselves. Don't go on these social media and bashing their business. Maybe, you know, just talk to them on the side, give them a heads up, right, corporate or the manager. But if you can support the other people who don't give us any kind of a, um, support back, then you should be able to support your own. Yeah, you should. Always. And I know, I know certain websites, god damn it, certain, certain websites that have black owned products, certain websites that have black clothing and anything like that, you have to do your own research online because we can't help you with that. Right? <laughs> we can't do everything for you. Well, there is right? black owned beauty supply stores. I actually know someone, her name is Sade, and she'll be coming on the show soon. She has three black owned beauty supply stores in Brooklyn, New York. So I can't wait for her to come on and, and tell us about her struggle with that, how she it was a struggle for her to get into the business it's a struggle for her for distribution of particular products because believe it or not the ones who primarily own that business or that um in that area are trying to keep us out even though we are the ones that are constantly putting our money into it so yeah. i can't wait for that one which i feel like that that shit don't make no sense i, I would have thought that somebody back then would have been like you know what since we buy this product, why don't we sell it? Why not? Why not? We should have a block that that sells our our own product, you know. And there's a lot of people out there that's actually making their own product, gels, conditioners, you know, stuff. Because the people that's making stuff, they're not making it for out here. Mm -hmm. You know, out here is coarse, it's nappy. That's not for. I don't out like here. that word nappy. It's just everywhere. It's not managed. It's not. <laughs> well kept. <laughs> it's nappy. Right? It's coarse. Right? How about that? It's like coarse. That it's coarse, yes. Right, right. It's curly yeah. and coily. Yeah. Like what's going on on, on my head. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> so I just want to thank everybody for their patience, for still supporting us. Please don't forget to comment on the bottom any topics that you would like for us to discuss. Um, share it. Subscribe, also like it, comment below, always comment. We love your comments, please. Anything you want us to discuss, and sooner or later we'll, we will go live. So if you want that also, let us know, all right? Okay, well, um, that won't be no time soon. I don't care what he says. <laughs> <laughs>
I'm not ready for live yet. <laughs> mm -hmm. But you know, when the subscribers are a little bit more up there and we can get a good time slot, yeah, definitely. That'd be dope. You that'd be dope. Yeah, we that'd definitely be go awesome. to that. Oh, is, is the restaurant open today? Um, today, Tuesday? No. God damn it, man. I want some waffles. Well, thanks uh, for tuning in. All right, yo, hold on. Quote of the day. All right, he who has a why to live can bear with almost any how. When you figure that out, you let me know in the comments below what the fuck that means. <laughs> <laughs> all right, yo, we out, yo. Boom.